Hello! This is Faxar. Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to do Subnautica. Now, I don't plan on starting from this base. I want to do it from scratch all over again. I wanted to, um, play from the very beginning. You crash into the planet. But I just want to show up my base a little bit because it's. What did I hate till I just leave it here and never come back? <sighs> Even though I never finished designing it, you know, like fill it, cluttering it up. But yeah, this is a uh, steam vent over here, which they looks like they might they may have moved it back a little bit more because right there was to the very extent of where the power goes in the steam vent so it might still be very hot right there but who knows so ignore that for now that message that just came in that you can see in the far right um so yeah i'm in i'm very deep it when the sun comes up you can actually see it's actually um let's a bit let's actually see if this works oh it does work excellent Last time I, I thought the beds were just for decoration. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, see, it's, it's all lit up now. Looks very pretty here. Now let's go back to that map you saw. So I have a mapping room. I think it's called a scanner room. No, ignore the message. So this is the scanner room. I can upgrade it from here. But I also had these probes. And as you can see, the scanning room does make a map. And you can see kind of where we are. So you can see we are on some sort of floating island. And on this floating island, um, we're at just one little part of it over here. And anything else that's interesting? No. It's supposed to be a crash spa spaceship. Can we see that from anywhere? I think over here. No. Always keep coming. Always keep coming. Uh. I think you can just barely see it over here. My spaceship. Then again, I, it's kind of hard to tell. Where is it up there? Oh well. It's I guess not that far. So anyway, I made my base here because of that steam vent. The steam vent over there make enables it for me to um, generate power for the entire base without requiring any other sort of method such as nuclear or biological means so this entire base is self-sufficient based on just this thermal vent right there and though I thought the thermal vent was closer to those but oh well Anyways, so I have food here, so as you can see in the lower left, I uh, require food and stuff over time. Uh, I do have an indoor growing bed. I have two vines, and I have a couple of these in here. I was just adding this little rain sponge thing for. And it actually is useful if you're in there for extended during a time. You just need some air. So let's go upstairs. That's a lot quicker than I thought. So I did have more creatures in here. I had like a snake crab and like a whale thing <coughs> that that farts a lot. The only problem was these things were getting very um. I, I couldn't figure what was causing lag for me. So I just went ahead and just got rid of them, just to be safe. 
Uh, as for equipment, I do have a grav cannon to shoot things away from me. I do have a welder, a scuba sub, I think a gun. Back in the inventory, it's been a long time. But... Is my stasis gun? Huh. Let's go find out. Where did I put my stasis gun? Here? Well, that's comms. Shouldn't it be? Hmm. That chest right over there. Yo, don't get tired. I'm just like. Show you. Oh, uh, so. Guys probably didn't know, but I have to do a fil filtration machine. And right on top of it, I shoved a fabricator. I didn't know you could at the time, so I did. Uh, this device allows me to use full power. Let's see, how's my everything? Uh, oh, I'll show you with just using one. Let's this. It's been a while since I've done it. I'm to switch powers out. Uh, did we just click and drag it? Click R? Yes, yeah, so you click R, then you go over and select. There you go. That's going to be useful for me later on. So we go ahead, put the old battery back in. Give it a little staticky noise, you know it's working. And it should be draining from the actual power of the station, but since I'm doing so much power, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> you see all my supplies is up here. I tried being very organized. Uh, yeah. Heck, it is my storage. Was that something to repair? Was everything in here freaking damn it? Happen? I've. I got attacked somehow? Or did I accidentally attack? Natural select, which is an actual game. Uh, let's check the storage on some of my vehicles. At least I can show you my vehicles. Uh, let's. There is storage module here, so there is storage on here. I just gotta find the storage again. Oh, oh I jumped through it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Well, I see they didn't fix the water yet. I think it is. Welcome aboard, Captain. This is upgrades. Where's the storage of this thing? Oh, there it is. It's on the other side. Um... No, I don't have... I don't have the... Aces gun here. Alright, we gotta look elsewhere. Okay. Let's go down here. A brown shoe. I called it an ugly. Oh, so. There's storage on this? Hmm. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right there. This is like this electric. Thing.
No, I don't know what happened to my stasis gun. If I ever had one. Let's take a quick look. I hear a static -y thing. Oh, that's just coming from my base. Oh, no. No, that almost ended badly. And here's a little outdoor planning thought I had just for decoration. Over there is like death area. It has some interesting supplies. Let's not go over there though. I'm interested to see what that is. I'm gonna jump over. Really wanna know what that static see anything. Oh. Heck. Oh, there's an electric eel down there. Alright, we found the source of the ticking noise. Thankfully, he looks friendly. Oh! Here's the... Looks very, sounds very close. Let's get back in. So we found out that they had the stasis gun here. Well, I think all the things you can find to research are scattered around randomly, so it doesn't matter if I found it here. If I start a brand new game, it's probably not going to be there again. I'm not gonna worry about that. Also, like I said, I want to start from scratch. Shh. Giving a little tour of my base in the surrounding area. So that's pretty much everything. Well, let's go outside and actually show the entire base. So yeah, entire base. Pretty interesting. So I had tried to do several different things to make base. I tried making it close to the surface, but my problem is it clips with the water surface, clips with the actual um, structure. So it'll have like the water surface like going through the base and it, it was just horrible. The only time it's okay to do that with the base going through the surface as if it's the very long tunnel going upwards which I think I can show you over here it's pretty much this part right there you'd have to do it with this piece going into the surface because that's the only thing that you can't actually physically be in so having that break the surface of the water going to the surface would be the best thing possible for it to do. Because this way it doesn't have a weird physics or nuisance with it. Um, you're wondering. That that thing right outside is a, a beacon of sorts. It just shows me from a distance. Kind of like that thing over there, Energy Pulse Origin, except that's from an actual uh, message. Yeah, it's this thing right here. I take that off. But yeah. I don't know why I don't have. Yeah, see, there's my little beacons. I have one all over there. West SSE. I forgot what SSE stood for. Uh. Safe Shallows East. That's what it was. Or. No, Safe Shallow. Easement? I have no idea what the E was. 
standing what was standing for. Outpost was my very first base. And you can see the mech game's always showing you where your life pod is. Didn't have anything else out here. And we're too close for this one to show what the name of it is. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just like how these different windows show you different like colorations. Huh. So this entire area is like thermally thermally active. So that's why you saw like all over there I had thermal vent that I was getting power from. The directly below us. So let's go back to that map room. The entire area to the very bottom of this place, you see like down here, right below this island that we're on. All that is just littered with volcanic activity, if it hasn't been updated and been... Um... So, you can see, on top, it's 233, saying right below my power. That is showing you how deep we are. So you can see, this is fairly deep, so if we're right here, it's even deeper down there. I think it's like around 300 or maybe 400 down there. It's deep. Uh, so, of course, you as a player, you don't get crushed instantly. You just get your air squeezed out of you the deeper you go. So, unrealistic, but I guess it's reasonable for a video game. Uh, so, oh, you're probably wondering what this is right here. This, if you click on something random, will actually send out a scan and actually scan every, whatever you select on. So I said fragment. It will now show me where all the fragments are within its scannable range. And there's actually one over there too. You can see in this smaller area, there's actually quite a bit. I don't really care for fragments right now, um, but that should be the stasis gun, if anything. Yeah, you can see it's it's slowly going outwards because it, it found that one first, then it found that one, found that one, and a lot of fragments. Wait, is fragments the scan? Is that stay? No, it doesn't. Prawn suit fragment. Does it show me everything that's in the area? That'd be interesting. But yeah. Fragment would have to be the stasis gun. So it shows me everything that's available, because I know this list was actually very small when I first came here. Because I was like going outside and looting things actively all the time. Uh, is this is how you upgrade your room. Then you put it here. And that's a scanner room room. So, the scan room is not extremely useful, but what's useful about it is you can go up to a camera and get out, and then you can really explore safely. So, the thing to do is saying, oh, well, this thing's really dangerous, so I'm just going to be just checking it out from down here. You going through the freaking built structure? You are going through this structure. It's annoying. Let's go down and see if there still is um normal activity down below. Yeah, there's still thermal activity down there. You just had to get really close to see it. Still has rocks as well. I don't know why there's an electric eel all the way near me. Hmm. Odd. I think the sharks will try and grab the... Okay, no, not these sharks. Another one does. So, these guys don't actually go and attack the cameras, I think. But there's another one that does. 
It's actually in the ones that are near the starting area, but since I'm not anyways near the starting area, I don't have to worry about my cameras getting stolen. Because they... The ones in the starting area, I forgot what they're called. I think Sabertooth, Shark or something. And th they those like to eat the cameras, not because they actually like eating cameras, but they like eating anything that's metal. Or chewing on anything that's metal. This doesn't take fire damage. Now you can see we're, this is actually very convenient because now we're inside. Inside a potentially hostile area because I didn't got what was in here. I think I went in here once or twice. Get supplies. At least to look for supplies. So, you can see this is actually a very useful device. Let's get out of here. So now you know the basics of what I had before. Let's try to do this all over again. And this time, what we're going to do is... They made it so the game can be beaten now. The guy can die a lot more. Ew, a lot more grossly. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's actually try to beat the game. I'm gonna go back with this. Cause what if I want to start with this? Again. Hmm. Woohoo! Does this work like? So not moving out. Yeah, you can move the camera and then just have it like stay like that. While it's getting its charge. Oh. oh. Okay, so you can't have it just swivel around while in its position. How do you change cameras? Oh, you scroll. Hmm. Alright. So, let's go ahead and, um... Start from scratch. No. Alright. So... Thanks for watching, and talk to you guys later.